This is an ultimatum. We sing tonight or else. Kermit's not here, Wayne. Hmm. Hiding from my wrath, no doubt. That's funny. He's not on stage either. Wonder. No one is on stage. You mean? Yes. This is our chance. We must grasp it. But this is supposed to be the place for the Connie Stevens spot. Go, oh, we'll cut the Connie Stevens spot. <laughs> Who needs the Connie Stevens spot? Who cares about the Connie Stevens spot? I can't wait for the Connie Stevens spot. <laughs> Well, I thought Kermit was going to introduce me. And indeed he shall. Hi, Kermit. Hi, Connie. Wow. Oh. Hey, listen, gang, I'd like to introduce that uh, indefatigable blonde bundle of beauty and talent, Miss Connie Stevens. Wow. And that was only your backstage introduction. When you sing your song, I'm going to pull out all the stops. Oh, thanks, Kermit. You're oh. so kind. Ooh, oh, oh, it was my pleasure. Hey, incidentally, I've been looking at this number you're going to do, and I don't remember ever hearing it before. Yeah, well, when I get done with it, you may never hear it again. This it was a big hit back in the 50s. Oh, yeah? And I would like to dedicate this to my old boyfriend, Jimmy McAfee. Yeah. He used to sing this to me in his hot rod back in 1956 in the front seat. Oh, yeah? Your first love, huh? Yeah. Sure was a beautiful car. I, I, I met Jimmy McAfee. Oh, yeah, Jimmy McAfee. Ooh, mm. Kermit, boy, did I love him. He had this long, thick, greasy hair, you know, mm -hmm. and he used to wear this big leather jacket. Mm -hmm. And you know something? If we had saved Jimmy's hair, we wouldn't have any oil shortage today. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to hear the song. And, and like I told you earlier, we got a group to back you up. Fantastic. <laughs> Is that the group? Yep, you called it. Well, they aren't the temptations. Uh, no, those are the mutations. <laughs> Delightful. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to go out there and give you a big 1950s disc jockey style introduction, okay? Okay. Woo! 